everyone and welcome back to another episode of Our Jam Garage, a very special episode. exciting day for me. Uh, I finally released my own website rgmgarage.com. Link in the description, you can go and check it out and, and tell me what you think about it. Um, I want to give a very special thank you to my partner and uh, my kids for supporting me uh, along this journey, um, trying to achieve this dream that I have to fix bikes, create content and uh, publish it for you to, to watch it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the videos as well. If you do, remember give me a thumbs up. Um, please um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And invite your friends um, to subscribe to the channel there's a lot more I have planned for this and you will know about it when the time is right uh, also I am now on patreon please come in and support me and help me with this dream always comment below what what you're what you're thinking about what I'm doing if you're liking the videos if you're not liking thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like it you don't like it you know I can't please everyone. Enough of this and uh, my next step for today is to start working on the new project, uh, well new old project. My job now is to bring it back to life um, so I can enjoy it again. I've been collecting some parts uh, the past couple of months and uh, I'm now ready to start working on it. This is the first video of the series. The Ayabusa build, restoration, resto mods. Hope you enjoy it. Take it or leave it. 
Okay guys, so this is all the parts that I had in boxes. Um, as you can see, these are GSXR 1000 tile pieces. Uh, this is the left side which didn't get damaged or much. That is the right side which broke straight off, straight clean. Uh, there's some of the pieces uh, and that's the indicated light from this side which will go somewhere like this which just broke clean off all the mounts um, as well as the infills uh, a couple of them broke, a couple of them are, are good, can still be used and the this is the replacement uh, fairing for that side you can see here now the broken piece um, how much damage it has on it I also have a replacement clutch cover as well as a um, starter motor so now I'm going to jump into it pull the bike here and remove the rest of the bits on it. Roll on the time lapse. So this is it guys, um, that's all I got time for today, it is 3 o'clock, 4 minutes past 3, um, my little boy finishes school at half past so I need to pack up, wash my hands and go and pick him up. Join me next week where I'm going to tackle the rear end on this bike. Um, initially when I done the conversion the tail was a bit too long or looked alright but um, once I, have start, I started having the pillion on the back which is my partner 
is way too long, is way too far away. So my next job is to bring it lower and forward and make the sitting more comfortable for the rear pillion. So join me next week. I'll leave you with a little montage of the bike itself, how it is now, all the assembled with all the parts in there. So remember if you like this video put a thumbs up please and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, go ahead and find us uh, find me in the links below um, and keep supporting the channel because this is what make us creators be able to provide videos for you so see you next week and ride safe be safe it's now raining outside um, the weather is not the best so always remember there's always someone waiting for you at home ride safe be safe and see you next time